Chain. Check. Rear thrusters. Check. Picnic basket. Uh, check. Right, let's take them. Come on. Hmm? Seems my camera got hidden again, but I wasn't muted this time. So yeah. Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later. Helian here, along with. Here. And yeah, like I said in the announcement for these, on um, well, I've, I've been I've started uh, announcing these streams on GameRise.com, which is like a Twitter for games and gamers. And yeah, yesterday my aunt was uh, well was having her birthday. So, uh, yeah, I couldn't really stream, even though she lives like uh, 500 meters that way. There's sort of the social obligation to stay at least an hour. And yeah, by then streaming would have been uh, late. Very late. <laughs> would have gone really late. Yeah, that would be late. And before I forget, um, screenshot, please. Yeah. <laughs> of all the things... I, that is the one thing I forget, huh? Okay, there we go. It is almost three times in a row now. Yeah, we really. I, I, we've said this. I've sent this plenty of time. Really need to look into some sort of screen sharing program to run that we just share it constantly. Or maybe the only real use of that would be on something Sunday, but. Uh, yeah, for now, typically I don't stream on Wednesdays because, well, I swim on Wednesdays. And typically uh, the rest are coming back home from swimming it seems, or at least giving swimming instructions. And uh, yeah, like I said, typically don't stream on Wednesdays because of swimming, because I get tired afterwards. This time it was short though. Uh, so yeah, less tired and while well, I had this uh, catch-up stream to do. And I get the feeling we are going to call those uh, ketchup streams more like, <laughs> more like the sauce at some point. But for now, let's just continue on. What the? There's Jay directly into battle. Uh, oh wait, I ready to. The checkpoint isn't at somewhere else. Oh yeah, it's the crystals block. The last time, for the third stream in a row, we uh, fought and defeated a boss and got through the entire dungeon. So let's see where we can make that four for four. I sure hope so. And yeah, they also up Trakir's audio a bit. But then... <clears throat> Uh, that's because at some points apparently he isn't too audible. Though he is also looking at getting a new microphone. And uh, hello, yeah, boy. I'm gonna ask my little brother about this. Well, if, he, if I can find a microphone that costs at least twice as much as this one, I'm probably should be happy. Where is it sending us? I thought there were crystals blocking the way here. Or did we smash those already? Oh dear. Uh, right, I was saying, I'm probably not going to get the headset for... Well, if I want to eat something, I don't want to have a mic in my face, so to speak. Where is it sending us? I run um, button twice. And also, I think it's probably polite for me to not be shooing loudly into a mic, into giving me out here. Yeah, that, that's why they have a mute button. Yeah, they do I, I do On the weekends, they don't like to have a bowl of cheese food or all that, so I feel like a lot, lot of unnecessary muting. And probably me forgetting that I'm muted. Okay, yeah, come on. And that also works. <laughs> we were sort of supposed to open it up first. And then slow down time, but that also just plain works. And yeah, we have little reason to fight these things. Except for experience. 
And the second thing that I forgot to do is to start up the dream manager. Yeah, uh, the stream manager on the phone to keep a sight oh. on how long the stream has been going, uh, amount of viewers and such, and an extra window to keep an eye on chats. Ah, all right. The drive road again. Let me see. Probably could have taken <laughs> a fast travel point to here instead, but. We're wherever we need to go, and hello, and goodbye. Where is it sending? It is sending us over there to a new place. Hmm. Okay, we are in the glowing part in the middle at the moment, so we are probably as close as we can be at the moment. We're Yeah, the Vulcan trip wouldn't have saved us too much time, I think. And, well, it's too late now, anyways. <laughs> also, about uh, me about me speaking on my aunt's... Uh, about my aunt's birthday yesterday, it's not like I don't like uh, her or anything. Uh, because, well... It, I, I just don't like uh, get-togethers like that. Uh, when it gets busy, it just becomes... a. a just a, no a cloud of noise, and yeah, I just sit on, you know, I just sit off to the side anyways. Um, I'm just not a party social or, you know, person. Same here. I, I can put it in roleplay, sure, but I cannot do it in real life. And I basically not have to end up sitting on the side being quiet about that. So I, nowadays I get, you know, we, we have to go out in restaurants. I am allowed to go walk home when I, when I want, as we go to a restaurant that's close by home. Okay. So yeah, I have actually been okay. told that to so have you to go home, but I see my legs starting to shake. And apparently I was wrong about Wolgrims, because there's a, another shop of his over there. Yeah, the tunnel something shiny. See, there is that other tunnel entrance there, but that is where we are climbing towards. Okay. So. Oh, oh, clarification for people confused. That if my leg is twitching at top, that basically means I'm getting very restless. I think we missed that chest over there for the second time now, but it's only souls, and we have, like, how many? Well, <laughs> 175 only. Okay. You were thinking we had, like, 10,000 or so, but we bought a lot of upgrades. Yeah, so that just does not look tempting, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. We also unlocked Ruin, the war's horse, because, well, he is a horseman after all. But we are limited in where we can use him, and... Why are we back in the Ashlands? It, it is point... Yeah, it is pointing us this way. Okay. Yeah, at least we don't have to <laughs> play cat, cat and mouse with the worms anymore. For what? Are you made a big sting? Mm, wouldn't say. Oh, that's one of those gate. Uh, with, well, with ruin, we can cross certain gateways like this over here. If the I was lingering on it quite a bit there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get up there. Wherever we can, that is. Uh, here we go. We can't really, really jump for the ruin. Oh, oh, for I, I thought we couldn't get up there with him, but oh uh, well. Now, let's see. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. So he isn't the best jumper. <laughs> and that was one of the time sphere chrono spheres, I think. Uh, yeah, let's just do his own port instead of running off the edge. <laughs> right, let me try that again. Perhaps I should give you riding lessons. Well, I think yes, those people. four over there can uh, give at least target practice. Oh dear. And yes, people, I have taken running clusters in the past. I will did quick off the wire to. I don't forgot its name, but that's it's sort of old school that you should only feed the horse when it's wet. Otherwise, if it's it dry, it's the sound food in the show. Please, okay. so when it's dry, when it's dry, it's, it's smell is so strong. They gave me migraine every time I walk near it. And sounds like in, 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 that uh, that in my stuffies. Well, yeah. I hope it's totally made out of my migraine. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we can use those salt bridges now. And uh, yeah, that was a pretty cool animation that we're crossing it. But yeah. I, I missed it due to lag. <laughs> yeah, now we're getting to the arachnophobic nightmare area. So, uh, yeah, consider that your warning for this stream. Alright. I don't wonder... How many games have a good uh, mount system where, or... Basically, where you can ride smoothly. Come on, War. War got, War got hot like a fucking chump. That or it was his plan. Perhaps? Yeah, it looked to me like he just got jumped and not by a bunch of spiders. Well, at least it's got us in here. Let's see, we can already see where we need to go. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get whatever grappling item is in the game. Because, well, grappling points. Uh, Alright. You gods. Yep. That looks a bit far for us to jump. Oh dear. Wait, there we always go again, you know. How many games have you felt the, does the uh, riding system quite well? Yeah, I think a few Legend of Zelda games have. Yeah. I know Game Wars 2 has done my, one of my favorite recovery system. Yeah. Most of course, all mounts are unique. It doesn't look like you can do anything against tall, dark, and gruesome yet. Best to avoid it for now. Okay, that's a big spider beetle. A pig? Oh, they look the a bit worse time. than the face sticks from Singularity. <laughs> oh, now, I'm trying to remember a game where the mount system was horrible. And that, that, that might be Skyrim. Please for me. I sure could ride, but was barely able to ride at times. And yeah, the mountain combat was horrible on that. Okay. So, actually, when I think about it, in many games, mountain combat seems to be a struggle for many games. Yeah, like, I believe the mountain blades games do it well. 
Yeah, that, dude, that one seems it's supposed to be the main focus of the game, to find mm -hmm. mounted. Mm, not the main. The main focus would probably be more like... Uh, oh, hello. Uh, more the commanding and such. And we want to hit that. Oh, right. And then when everything is slowed down... There we go. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten far enough into Skyrim to actually get a horse. Uh, you don't need to get too far to, in Skyrim to get a horse. You can even steal one a few times, probably. Or find one! Okay. So, it's... It's more like you end up accidentally riding off a cliff because it is the horse is too hard to steal. Or when you try to ride someone down and put them down, you're probably going to miss 90% of the time. Yeah, they... Typically horses are in games more for fast travel than anything else. Yeah. I don't like mountain combat when it's done well, so you feel uh, there's a reason to ride a beast into battle. Okay, why is the controller sh shaking? More shuddering. Oh, that's why. Oh! Well, no going back then. Yeah, you need to lose weight, you were. But Was yeah, that a load, though? Uh, a specific Zelda game that I can ma name that has good mounted, uh, yeah, just control and combat would be Twilight Princess. I'd say personally. Oh yeah, I actually play a little bit of that. And yeah, I, I played the. Was it? I think it was on the Wii and the GameCube. So yeah, I played the GameCube version. Yeah, I played the Wii version. So I did have some struggle. Of course, well, Wii controls were very alien to me. A fun little fact about the Wii version, actually. Apparently, they may work the entire freaking game because, yeah, Link is left handed and most people across the planet are right handed, so they, instead of just making him use his uh, right hand, they just flip the entire world. What? <laughs> are you telling me the mirror flipped the entire world? Yep. yep. Oh, of course. God. Okay, such a big sack for only two of these little ships. I want to know how to respond. I don't know if I should be impressed or face palming. Or both. Let's stay up here. And. Yeah, it's just far away. Yeah, I haven't realized that Link was the left handed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was blocking the red legs of. I was thinking, where the hell did those little shits go? And. <laughs> I was accidentally ledge guarding them. Oh dear. And I see a fancy chest over there. Oh, no. I have to say, Link should be happy he was not a official soldier for the military, at least back then, in Middle Ages and before that. He would be your left hander, you would be forced to train with your right hand for fighting. Okay, this is the Alright, one more to. Well, if you're going to use the steam formation, it's good enough for your everyone to you use the same hand. Yeah. Hmm. And there's something uh, there's something I'm not completely sure about, but uh, in my family there's a, a thought going that, that genetically I might be left-handed, but I was raised right-handed, which has made me, well, halfway ambidextrous. <laughs> Which, as in, I'm not, I'm a, not, 
I'm not absolutely horrible with both hands, but I'm not <laughs> any good with e both either. This is interesting. Uh, I don't know if that's in, in heritage or not. I guess I'm curious if you think that it is. And myself, I am right-handed, but I do need to have some a bit a bit dexterity to some degree, but all on few things. Okay, top little spider. Come at me, boy. Okay. Wait, what? All right. Yeah, War is going to need a sun shine after this. Yeah, there's. Yeah, the only weakness that spider seems to have is boots. So Luckily no, enough, they're. I can almost accidentally call war boots. <laughs> that would be an, an interesting mix-up with Dora the Explorer. I want to say... I want to say, luckily war have very big boots, but almost said, luckily boots have very big boots. Let's see, we, are, we do need to use that to get across, and uh, hello there. Hello. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the moment we move to the other side, it's of course going to tip down. So that's why the chronosphere is here. But how do we, we need to get off it? Oh, that's how we get on it. We, we go up further. Well, that's easy enough. You're stone, people! Seriously, is stomping the only way to kill them? But... No, we could we could spend like five minutes swinging at these things to kill them, but this is just instant, so why not? Die, you eight-legged freak! Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of spiders, uh, but... but... I'm not entirely sure I could be called arachnophobic either. Because it's more that I find them absolutely disgusting than actual fear. Yeah, same. Though so I have all tolerance to things like dryers. Yeah, same. Depending on the time. It, I think a part of it that uh, drives me away is like uh, with tarantulas, the hairs and such. <gasps> And the eyes, more specifically, as well. And the map. We haven't found a map in a while. Yeah, I guess that's kind of why I can handle dry those, but I don't have the eyes. Or, but that's the most museum. Uh, Rachnia, Rachnia. They have multiple eyes, but they look. They don't look typical spidery in that sense. Yeah. And there's also a bit of David and Goliath uh, thinking in that. Well, uh, if you get. If you can get, uh, con well, if you find the wrong spider, or rather you don't find it, <laughs> it bites you, then uh, yeah, it could kill you. So yeah. Luckily, <laughs> over here we don't really have poisonous spiders. Yeah. Here we will not be too afraid of spiders, but if you send me to Australia, then yes, I would probably be nervous of every damn spider. Yeah, and we've all heard stories about uh, spiders being found in boxes of bananas. Bananas? Yeah. <laughs> and now that I think about it, actually, I think the the Dutch name for tarantula translates to bird spider. Probably because they are... Now, I wouldn't be surprised at all if they could eat birds from how fucking big those things are. Uh, Italian. There are species of spiders called bird spiders, and they do eat birds. And catch them with their nets. No. Oh. oh, the more reason to hate them. And this thing is going to try and do some... Are you just following around, or are you actually going to try something? 
Okay, that it's makes okay. you even worse for just doing anything. Is that a web or is that I? It's a web. It's a very sturdy one. That looks almost crystal-like. Okay. What the heck? Wait, don't they have crystal spiders? They are a thing in D&D, I know that. Oh, bloody, yeah, the, the, I almost forgot that. But I haven't played in the little bit similar to it, but I have tried to occasionally read uh, some uh, lore of them and played some of their video games. What is over there, Watcher? Let's see what he has to say, actually. Or, okay, we can't summon him. We can't summon him when he's actually out on the field like that himself. Okay. Well, normally we, we would, unless... Does Watcher have arachnophobia? Better be uh, ironic, a demon scared of spiders. Well, I'm sure he... I don't think he's in the map, actually. I, I wonder what he is, actually. Uh, we wait. don't actually know what he is. He's like a yeah, specter. And, yeah, now we, the way he's speaking, wait, is he someone uh, standing somewhere where we can't see him? He's up there. Okay, that's where we can't summon, summon him. He's only yeah. out! Yeah, that's what I said. Oh. <laughs> Oh, come on, Ray. Come on, get up. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Hello. Can you just stab through the web at him? Oh, I see. Whilst he's down, we can fail to go down. Okay. Can I? No, we can't crack its shell. Well, you should okay. be able to just... That is belly. And I'm actually going away for the map again. There you go. Stop on the locking on the peanut gunnery. Oh, they're going to get involved now. Oh yeah, we're supposed to knock it down and then go across the the, the, yeah, the ridge here. So for some reason, War decided to jump backwards instead of yeah, move along. Okay, but now we're at least done with that. Lucky okay. enough. Yeah, I typically don't have much trouble finding spiders in games and such as well. You. Even better if it's in third person and hello. Same. Depending how ugly it all, but I don't see them. Um, I just go, Ugh. And Ugh, what the heck are you? Yeah, some sort of yeah, infernal on that. But yeah. yeah, the absolute worst spiders that I've ever encountered in the game would be in Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Because that oh. is a first person brawler. So uh, yeah, you get to you get to see this it, them up close and personal. The second off, they are hairy as all hell. <laughs> I think a more accurate description would be bristles. And third, when they poison you, because of course they poison you, they mess with your screen. Uh, so yeah. Also, did I say that they leap at you? <laughs> so yeah, that's why I always, always take some of the fire spells in that game, just to burn the absolute hell out of those things. Uh. And yeah, we will one day get to that game as well, because it is uh, another among my favorites, despite the spiders. Yes, there's also a spider boss in it, but it's actually much, much uh, 
better than because it, it's not as hairy as all hell, uh, even though it's freaking giant. And it's also optional. Okay. Oh. So oh, hello, there's a relic there. I actually don't remember uh, the spider boss on this one. All right. I'd forgotten oh, that there was a spider boss as well, and why won't you jump, War? Good question, man. I actually stopped to notice something here. Mm. Almost all of the shows I'm so far in the beginning have been female. Uh, let's see, with, with the Griever, uh, Tiamat, and uh, yeah, the Worm. And? Okay, yeah. Like so... the spider. Yeah, Spider Queen. So, uh, yeah, I guess... I get the feeling they're... Besides just being the strongest, they probably also the Destroyer's Harem. That's all they all have the market on for for giving some army. So, the damn big demon you've got to feed by in the beginning was all support me shelter, so there is a male at least. Yeah. So almost the first of the art is defeated within the Brood Mother category. Okay, so we can set those things off and let them deal with the spiders. <laughs> or not. Okay. <laughs> they were very quickly <laughs> quick to come blame me. Something time! Uh, these boots were made for stomping. And that's just what they'll do. Oh, hey, my friend, I'm here right now. Oh, fuck. Oh, my oh, fuck, that is. Well, apparently, uh, there are a magical artifact that are boots. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I'm gonna go and grab the book. But the flavor takes is hilarious. Go right back. Okay. Three more down. Let's see. What the... This is probably going to raise the platform right next to us. Okay. And what good does that do? So, get that. <clears throat> Pardon. Um, Welcome you back. Give him. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Okay, I missed that one. Still can send these things, whatever the hell they are, back into the little pits. Wait, did that respawn? I thought I shot it. Stay in there, you. Nope. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was lucky. And this is probably going to raise the platform below again. Or the other one. I found it! I found it! Piggies in picking boots! Okay. Let's see the flavor te te text. Piggid, an old and boastful orc, made his last boast in front of an Empire cannon. Only his boots were recovered. His venture spirit lives, lives on. The odor of his feet lingers forever. <laughs> of course. Yeah, there's more. Let's see, only oh, just two questions. Pasha's big axe of fashion. Krampus club of crumpin. Hack a sword of hacking. Yeah, that tells you a lot of old culture, doesn't it? 
Yeah, as in there's so little. Now, oh, I see what we need to do already. I thought, how the hell are we going to get a bomb up there? But the, it's stuck on something we can move. Oh dear. Uh, oh god, I just find another golden one. Pompas Club of Pumping. Since the dawn of last Thursday, Pompas Club has been the traditional symbol of leadership among the Black Lynch tribe. Of course, to the start with, there were a few who didn't see it like that, but they will all then seem uh, convinced. Yeah, for those who might not know, uh, Warhammer Orcs are basically crude British with uh, their words and so on. Stuff like crumping and such means uh, you know, beating up. Well, specifically, they are more of a green version of cocky. Like, they took a cockney accent and made an extreme version of it. Purple but it's basically its own thing, but yeah. They were definitely inspired by cockney as far as been, I remember. Or you could say Orkney. Oh god, see me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Now we actually need to get this that? thing off. Top of club of Duffin. What? What that is Duffin? No clue. Uh, let's see. And oh dear. What one of us one hit one die? What the heck is this? Okay, it's a weapon, but it doesn't say what weapon. How are we? I don't know. Oh, damn. I don't know what. The moment I thought we couldn't jump on top of this thing. I'm gonna put away the orc book for now. I get it too distracted for the game now. And let's see, another stomping ground. Uh, Quite that early, play, apparently. I'm gonna play with Warhammer board game nowadays, but I do not play in the Warhammer. But yeah, just reading it in the old rule books, especially the old one, is actually quite funny to do, just for the company of it. Yeah. Well, I, I hear Games Workshop has been uh, in a bit of shit lately, and there's actually rumors of them trying to leave the, the industry entirely or something. Yeah, but they also conflict with other things, and they are making a new old world. So I don't know if they have different sections, but most of the bad news comes from the K side. Anything that comes on the old world, and mostly Sigma has been good, especially the old world, but every the 4K, 4K, has been in a shit storm, apparently. Yeah, apparently people have um, an NDA that people have to sign when reviewing uh, stuff. Uh, has been leaked, and basically what it all boils down to is that they are legally forbidden from even criticizing the company. So, yeah, anyone who has signed an NDA like that, and I think it was confirmed that they are real because some asshole decided to dox whoever uh, was the one who leaked it. <laughs> yep, so that's not a more problem. I've seen the video of the uh, Ark Warhammer, or an Ark just now. He, he has also had a tendency to exaggerate the actual problem. Like, make it sound worse than it is. This also is a problem itself. Like, yeah, it's bad. Just don't make it sound more worse than it is. Okay. So, well, yes, it is. There is no promise with it, but he definitely tried to pump it up more. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't keep my ear close to that. I just saw some... It just popped up in my recommended videos at one point. And hello, big boy. Same for me. But I, 
Him and you talk to him about being a dick with green or salt. Well, that was dumb just <laughs> trying to charge it. And again. Okay, this thing is taking off a lot of health. But yeah, I don't much of fun being doing that thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what are you doing to him? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was almost a Hulk smash. I guess you're right. That's a new variant. Yeah, this this is very really similar to the, an earlier version. They're just wingless and more armor. Like, he sacrificed his wings for more armor. Yeah, it, it uses a similar animation set to the, the previous Fire Demon. Okay, but its moveset is a bit more expanded. Yes, it's a more elite version. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Letting it hurt itself. <laughs> I don't think the bullet does anything. I think the bullet is pissing him off. Okay, Stop tickling him! Oh. Okay. Did it try to grab a bear even though it was far out of range? Okay. Uh, I was starting to think, will this thing ever die? I actually got to wonder if he was immune to bullets. But that would be kind of funny. What? Yeah, if it was, then it probably would have shown a different reaction when it was getting shot. It, like when, so, when an attack has had no effect, it had a, uh, a sort of glancing effect on it. That's uh, yeah, like like it's hitting a shield or something. And it oh. wasn't with that thing. Okay. I haven't noticed that yet. Um, you? You? Welcome to the world. And fuck off out of it. Oh, come on. If anyone who is actually arachnophobic sees this, this, this is probably going to be half terrifying, a half. Uh, uh, what? Cathartic. <laughs> Stompy, stompy, stomp! I sense fear in your voice, this Tilian. Let's, let's have a. How many. I'm not even sure these things really count as spiders because they seem to have only six legs. Uh, let's have a little look. I see. Six legs? That's. Six Oh, well, the, you also have those mandibles, but I'm, don't, I'm not really sure those count. Yeah, so, mandibles are mandibles. No. Wait. Those don't look like mandibles, some of them. Those look like... pincers. Yeah, so oh. I, I guess these things are actually more closer to beetles. Because uh, anything is officially a spider when it has eight legs. Anything less is considered a beetle, I think. Uh, actually, Helian, scorpions are related to spiders. However, they change two of the legs into pin uh, pincers. Okay. And so, it looks like these spiders have done the same. Okay, so they wouldn't be exactly spiders, but more... Well, they would still be arachnids. And yes, we are and missing something. Fun fact! One of the earlier... One of the earlier spider ancestors and scorpion ancestors... Basically, had like that. Had six legs and two pincers and a whip thing on the arse. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there is a classical spider bomb plus a whip. Yeah, all the more to be grateful that we're living in the modern era and not whatever hellhole time that was. Yeah, and they, here's a lot of fun fact. If I remember right, all spiders and scorpions are descended from sea scorpions. 
So arachnid and an amoeba. Right. Wait, what? Anime? What? No, no, I'm confused. Ar Ar Arachnid, Adam, and Eve. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, bro, you could say that. No need for that. And hello, Gertie. What inside? I'm not sure if that achievement notification was visible on the stream, but it said reach out and touch someone. Or somebody. Oh god! An abyssal chain. Oh. Fires a grappling chain that attaches to enemies and movable objects. Use right trigger to grapple targeted enemies and objects. So basically, we're ripping off... <laughs> we're ripping off a different type of scorpion now. Can you explain that something? There's no weapon in Valheim on a Vistal Harpoon! Yeah, this thing is and faster than this armor. And a Vistal Harpoon basically got the damn same thing this thing does! Yep. I'm not sure if that missed or not, and I'm freaking big in this thing's mouth. It's all mouth! And I start to wonder if Valheim took Dark Spider as her as inspiration for the harpoon. This thing is nasty in both appearance and it's not actually damaging much, but it's it's an pesky little attack. And there we go, cut you in the fucking yeah, half. And, yeah, it got explained on that damn big head. And also, we should. Oh, what? Modok would look at that head and go uh, down, tone it down a bit. Who? Modok uh, from uh, Marvel. <laughs> basically, the entire thing with that uh, character is that they're basically a super genius, but uh, uh, an artificially created super genius. That is like a. Not, it's like a giant freaking head. In a floating oh. chair. Oh, him. Yeah. Yeah, now I remember I did not like him. I just felt... But something about him made me cringe. Let's see. I thought it was because he was looking way too cheesy. Yeah, he is... Uh, <laughs> he just looks stupid, but... He was in the... Uh, advanced... New Advanced... Uh, adva Avengers game. There he's the main antagonist in that. A spoiler for a game that nobody wants to play anymore. Oh dear. Can we... Okay, we can just grab onto the other side. Yeah. Oh, probably should say this. We should probably give these things some leeway. He says we should probably remember these are demonic spiders. That also works. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see. I missed that there was a ledge here to grab. Well, I'm not surprised. Let's see. We have a door there. We have a grappling point here. And what looks to be a fragile floor. Yeah, it looks a bit, uh, torn. Yeah. Let's see, need to think... When we lock on, we can swing. Though I'm not sure if... Let's, let's try that now. If I keep the left trigger pressed... And if I let go... Okay, that doesn't change anything. There's two of those bastards over there. Actually, okay, when I look, when I just look right in the 
in the right direction, it'll also just do that. There's no need for locking on. Now then. There's nothing down there. And okay, we're... I'm going to need to put away one of these artifacts. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we haven't used this thing in a while, and it's useless in combat anyways. Okay. Throw that. And then... Quickly move over. Yeah, it's going to be too late now. Yeah. Okay. I think the first time I ever got introduced to uh, a grappling system like this was in Rayman 2. I'm not sure when it was from me. I don't get to say. That still looks like a Qatar. And yeah, Rayman 2 is also a game that we'll get to eventually. Now let's see. Yeah, they aren't actually grabbing me down there. Are they going to snatch me out of midair? Yes, they are. Um, 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 um. Okay, uh, at least we got out. And now we're getting out of here as well. Okay, I see now, now why they are. The, is it pink peeking? I just noticed now. The keys are Qatar. You stab them in the, um, the death lock's eye. Why is this thing here? Yes. No use for this. Or was that just the. Uh, no, you have to jump across this to get in range of that thing and. Okay, back down it is. Actually... Can... No, wait. Why the heck is that thing there when... You can only reach it when you're already up there. Good question, Hidia. Good question. <clears throat> okay, for now, let's just move along. Yep. Let's just move along more. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we joked early on into this that uh, War is basically Link if he got into heavy metal, but now he has uh, a boomerang and a grappling hook as well. <laughs> the only thing that's missing is a bow. Yeah, uh, he has something better, a gun. Why does he have a pistol? Let's see. We need to we need to find three more of these, and here is one of them. Oh dear! Uh, are you doing like what kind of big big you are inside? Well done. You are in a hospital. There are medical beds and green shells in here. Yeah, yeah. I've been kind of uh, busy with the spiders to notice, and you just take that off. Same. I just noticed it when I saw the wind shell over there. Then I noticed it in the bed. And the room over there and so on. Okay, this thing is a bit too agile to go for this. For the big sweeping swipes. Wait. This was that a big glowing weak Yes, I think that is a big glowing weak spot on its underbelly. Well, that would make sense. Yeah, it is the exact opposite side of the, uh, the armor. So that would be where a weak spot would be. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, for if I have not the armor on the top of its underbelly, it might be... Unable to be so agile as it is. So it's a weak spot that makes sense. Get rid of 
these, so we have a clear firing line. Trash bomb. Or it could also be part of the attack animation. It, it seems a bit too away from the actual claws to be that. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, how would we be able to hit Belly? We can't really flip it over. Actually, let's see if we actually might be able to. That was completely accidental. Okay, two down, two to go. Hmm. Now, this this dungeon is being a bit more straightforward than the previous ones. Even well, it makes sort of sense. We got dropped up right in the middle of this shithole because we yeah. got uh, mugged. <laughs> And back here. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is either a hospital or an asylum. Yeah, sometimes there's a little difference. Encouraging. Uh, yeah. All of these demons are definitely going to need a hospital after we're done here. Um... They're yeah, already in the air in the end. Yep, all the better for them. <laughs> hey, wait, hold on. I'm picking up something. Oh yeah, you, you, I saw the damn close-up of company. Let's see, one of the big spiders should be back this way. Incoming! Yeah, they can, find, they can form a tonga line of eight legs all they want. Thank you for the mental image. Okay, you. Get down here. Oh, and we got different company. How is that nine hells that I ever shown you? Okay, the hell is that <laughs> supposed to mean? We should... What this bad only thing is, we should talk to him to see if there's any hint of arachnophobia on him. Yeah, my guess is anything with wings wouldn't like spiders because of their webs. I don't think... I think we encountered... I don't think we encountered another one of them. Is... Is it going... Could be... No. Uh, let's see. How do you go up and down with this again? Not that. Uh, hmm. Ah, it's the other stick. Okay. Boss, of course. Okay, over there is probably the last one. Where are we at the moment? We are here. This is a dead end. And, yep. Let's I think it's the... 
lead you to somewhere in front of you. I think we have to go back upstairs to get there. And we have to go and get into this area somehow. It doesn't actually say how, how high up it is, only where it is. Well, again, it showed us a camera view that is right in front of your face. Yeah, that was sort of the, the gate unlocking. Oh, alright. Uh, okay, my bad then. Second time that I did that. Okay. Oh yeah, now we can use these to get across. So much easier time to get here. And yeah, there it is. It's the very first one that we encountered. Once again, my memory showing it is uh, not even <laughs> not even worth it. Oh, I, okay. I thought it was something. The blood is red. Yeah. And spiders don't actually have blood, they have thicker. Yeah, so... Yeah, Molly is going to be wary of demonic spiders. There we go. Early. Too early again. Okay, that was much easier. And this might even lead us directly back. Now we probably have to use the grapple to get across again. What is this here? Actually, it where is this? Well, something is frozen, so... Punch punch? Oh, I think we might have found her early. It's a Kirby spider. Okay, it seems to not be the boss, but the mini boss. Ah, uh ow! -oh. We could have we could have used some health before this. It could be her husband, the king. Yeah. Okay. It's. Do we have any bombs or anything to throw in? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> we barely missed. Okay, that's the effect, and it doesn't have a, well, an effect. Okay. Hmm. Is it actually trying to suck us in or not with that? its head is too hard for us to actually it's crystal yes and uh, okay it's too high up to actually smash like that uh, uh, watcher maybe okay this thing is actually seriously kicking our ass Oh, oh. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Well, it's doing something. It's pissing it off. 
And there we go. Okay. Ow. What are we supposed to do right here? Wait, it's that's our first failure. Now, I think we've died... We, I think we've died once or twice before. Oh, right. Now, it, it's... It's feasting on the cocoons. Uh, I very much doubt that would actually hurt it. And we can't lock onto those things to bring them down. Like anything other? Okay, so you really have nothing to say, huh, jackass? Oh dear. Yeah, no effects. That stuff we could drop onto it in the room. Ow. Mm. Yeah, typically when an enemy like that you know, sucks in a lot of air, you have to throw in a bomb or something, but we don't have bombs. So what the actual hell do we need to do here? We can't break its armor. Actually, it has a spear. A si Our weapons don't deal damage to it. don't see how we're supposed to fight this thing. Wait, that's two doors. The one looks really strange. Are we supposed to trick it to charge into one of them? Mm. I don't think so. And the, that door looks strange because it's, a, it's the normal ceiling over the webbing. Oh. cocoons that we can't interact with. What the heck are we missing? I can grab them. Wait, are we actually supposed to feed this thing? And uh, yeah, that's going to be... Wait, okay. now? That distracts it. <laughs> oh. And now we're almost dead. At least we made some uh, some form of progress. I saw that. Okay, at least we got something out of that. And it, it's so busy eating that it doesn't even care that it's just cutting up its ass. Okay, now we know what to do. Yep! Hmm. And we could have at least had the watcher say something about uh, try feeding it more or something. Yeah! Well, you are quite a glutton. There's so much so that it goes <laughs> even any defense of itself. Okay, when he does that, he's going to charge. Okay, grab him a snack. I know 
there's creatures that are extremely food driven, but at least you think that it puts survival over foods. Yeah, I'd like to be right back. Be right back. Okay. Yeah. Wrong timing. Likes this, it doesn't care at all. <laughs> I was literally one hit away. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. We're becoming less useful by the minute. Uh, now, now the watcher really is just a dark metal version of Navi. Oh, oh these things. I think we saw those in a challenge. Okay, already full. Okay, where are you? There you are, you oversized noodle. Okay, now the enemies are getting some magic in their ranks. Okay. <laughs> okay, simple and efficient. Uh, now we've got a peanut gallery up there. Okay, luckily they're dumb enough to just come down to us. So attacks can hurt the others as well. All right. Something we can make use of. Good. Actually, why should I need to? Get back here, you. There we go. <laughs> Just print to the fucking floor. I think that's three enemies now that use the same kill. Because the undead soldiers go down the same way. And hello there. Oh, two of you. Okay then. And then you're pet for me. Welcome back. Uh, uh, someone's on Oh, what the heck is going on? 
Yeah, you missed the introduction of a new enemy type. This sort of flying uh, four-handed Naga uh, caster. Uh, okay. Wait. No, we are thinking of the Korea challenge, I mean. Yeah. And um, well, don't worry about what I'm wondering. A person from my childhood you came by from Germany. Okay. So, yeah, my mom dragged me down to quickly say hi. Yeah. Understandable. Okay, now to finish this one up. Yeah, yeah, we're going for Grimpton and Decapitation. Alright, uh... Um, how did you kill the spider boss? Or meat boss? Uh, well, I was just one more round away from killing it. Yeah, but, I mean, the finishing move, what was it? Uh, the guts on its back. <laughs> uh, basically, this gave it a few stompings into the ground and just, they just cut its abdomen in half. <laughs> <laughs> Even the big ones is stomps! Yeah. Those must be some powerful boots. Yeah, it was more like hitting him with the gauntlets. Oh. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that works too. I was sort of hoping that he'd pull this thing over and immediately crush it there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Big words for someone who went stripping off all their armor. Well, the only this off the top part. And this needs to keep the path. Now that I cleave you in half first. Too late on the block. Single original line, do you? Though I guess with them having black uh, wings, <laughs> crows would be a better description. <laughs> Wrong target. Like my boy. Screw this. El Duran. Okay, that, that is new. The Red Ninja Awake. Okay, I didn't know some enemies would actually have lines when you activate the Chaos Mode to form. Down to the final piece and block. <coughs> yes, that is the last one. And a paw has opened. Okay. So, we have an entire species to orphan. Though... I do hope we find a health chest nearby. Also, how freaking big is this hospital if it goes down so far? Good question.
Yes, yes. The air must lie beyond that sticky barrier. Let's finish this. Okay, and uh, Dark Navi finally has new lines. Oh, <laughs> my old friend also called him Navi. Ah, we share. You honor me with your presence, horseman. There are so many stories about you. You have killed three of the chosen, taken their hearts. Disturbing. Is that why you have come? To slay the final tower guardian? To take my heart? Did Samuel tell you how he came to bear his tainted blood? Why his accursed power beats within our breast? It is not the tower that the Chosen protect, horsemen. Our charge is to prevent Samael's return at any cost. You may kill me and return to Samael with my heart, but in him you will face a threat greater than all the Chosen combined. I did not come for your counsel, Spider. Oh, your stories. My children will dance to the music of your screams. Ooh. Okay, Silitha. What is going to be your pattern? And I think she's actually smaller than all the other previous ones. Yeah, dude, she has more legs. Yeah, she has six legs and transforms the remaining two into. Yeah. Okay, she teleports. Oh, great. She's a mess tomorrow. I think I already found it, dumbass. Alright, how many stuff we have? Okay, we get in some hits and then she start teleporting around above us. She is the smartest of the chosen so far. Then again, spiders are usually ambush creatures. The fourth human and teleportation like this is the most definitely overkill. Good. You know, things are all blink spiders in the end. Yeah, I believe in Dungeon Dragon space spiders can teleport. Yep. Oh. Okay, we don't really have the speed to get out underneath from underneath her. Okay, now she's mixing it up. I say that and she immediately goes back to that. Okay, that sounded like a phase change. Just teleporting around at random, okay. disorient. Yeah, now I'm just on the wall and. Yeah. Compared to the other ones, the most definitely the one with the other magic. Well, we're all the ones to use it the most. Yeah. 
Yeah, Chaos Form is a bit useless here. Huh? It also probably helps if we dodge to the side and not <laughs> right on either fat abdomen. Yeah! Oh god, that fucking crushed the hill! If this game was released uh, in these days, that'd probably be somewhat of a following for this character. What? Uh, you, you probably saw how the reaction was to the big giant freaking vampire lady in Resident Evil. Don't compare her to this. Unless... Oh wait, and I, I haven't finished watching that game of that thing yet. I don't know what uh, uh, I'm going to do for me. Okay. Uh, maybe I should not say don't compare them to each other. <laughs> she really is going all out. I think we might be near out the end then. Wall, wall. Above. Like, this is how a teleporter would fight. They just zip all over the freaking place. And I'd be a fool to trust a spin, a little spinster. Yeah, got in one hit. I think I got a hit there. Oh, come on. And now we have there's no health in the room. Yeah, there hasn't been any help. Well, there have with some spawning enemies, there has been health from killing them. But otherwise, there hasn't been a single one of these with actual health boxes. Oh. Come on, how close? We have to be close. Are we doing something wrong? I don't think so. Oh. She is bleeding from these hits. That's a phase change. Oh, yeah, phase change. Uh, the hell are you up to now? Oh, bombs. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, up the bombs. Yeah, she's definitely just fell off for it. Yes, he's also keeping her freaking distance. Oh. <laughs> okay, back down with you. Oh. I was not expecting that to actually finish her off. Achievements, one mean mother. Heart. You think he's going to let you live long enough to collect on your end? We'll have to see. Because, yeah, somehow 
has plenty of reason to lie to us, but so did the uh, Silitha. And another life bar. Because we definitely need them, because we we almost died there again. Yeah, probably uh, gonna need to return to old areas to see if we can find more hard shards. Yeah. And of course other goodies. And you were to say something, accidentally dropped it to you. Uh, well, we have the, we have to see where we can find uh, swing points like this or grapple points. And yep. apparently we were right outside her freaking doorstep. Yep. And I think uh, there was a swing point actually, where we found our earlier uh, shard points uh, that we had to redo at one earlier point in, in our episode. Yeah. We have seen a few so far. We just have to find them again. So how many? How how much? We have six full bars. Well, actually, we have seven because each of those skulls represents another one, another yep. bar. And I think the max amount is when you have the entire thing up there full. I think. Yeah, so I'm guessing probably another five or six possible total. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> that would be a lot of health. But it's like you need that one. That is cool. Yeah. No. Where's Fulgrim? Okay, apparently. <laughs> Ruin doesn't like being run into a freaking wall. Name me, name me, name me one person who likes to be run into a wall. And have we been here before? This, yeah, this is new area. Okay. There's bomb rock crystals over here. So it must mean that there's bombs somewhere. Hmm. Grapple points? Is that close enough to grab? No, it is not. Wait, is that really grabbing points and not something else? You see, yeah, that is some. That's one of those glowing orbs like we saw in the submerged area. At it? Uh, the, this can't reach, so can we shoot it? And pro shoot it or throw at it? Okay, where are the bombs here? <gasps> we need bombs to get through those, but I don't see any here. Wait, is this supposed to be a shortcut to be on the wrong side? Yeah, I think this is a hidden collectible or something. Whatever it is, we can't reach it. So let's take a quick look at the map here. Are there any obvious places that we might be able to get to now that we can safely traverse the sand? I don't think we've actually seen anything over here. I got saw something! And... Oh, there's something there! So how do I actually manually get up up the way you... Okay. Oh, some extra souls doesn't hurt. Yeah, and I saw a limiting stone. The ones we can climb on, like the Euro Park. I don't think this car counts. Not a car, look up. Give me a sec. I said levitating stone, not levitating car. No, that car is not levitating. Let's see. Behind you. Wrong stone. There. Oh. You move away. It's the levitating one with the blue glow behind you. 
Yeah, that's the chronosphere that we would have that's to old. use to get across here. Oh, all right, my bad. Uh, yeah, it seems that we we are keeping the streak going for dungeons in four streams. Yeah, dude, this one has ended up quick, quicker for... Well, we have 20, 25 minutes left. Yeah. So, More time than other times. Yeah, let's go find Voltrim. And bring the Lost Hearts to Samuel and see who may have been lying or not. Probably both. Welcome. The hell did he go? Silitha, I lied. Such a pity. But perhaps you have souls to ease my sorrow. It's. Do you have any shopping? Uh, not really, other than that Volgum is a suck-up. And ours. Yeah, we can only have one of those? Wait, why are all of the others unavailable now? Or, oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think we've really used this attack much. Lock on, move backwards, and then X. The flips are <laughs> our best <laughs> aerial weapon or aerial attack. Power strike we haven't really used outside of last time. Guess well we could use it to smack them around. <laughs> we don't. Ha we actually haven't used the gauntlet that much as a weapon, if at all. Okay. This time saving us uh, quite a bit of walking. And just where the hell are we? A dimension between worlds? Probably. It certainly doesn't look like the roots of Igrasil. Did I get the pronunciation there right? Hey, it got close. It depends in uh, very much in uh, well, which part of the Scandinavian countries or Iceland you're uh, referring to here. Uh, we speak say Idrasil. Oh. So yeah. And some dogs even are fed slightly different, like in Dutch, four is dollar, for example. Yes, people, Dutch used to worship the same god as Scandinavians. And they have enemies outside this time. Oh. I was beginning to worry you might not live up to your end of the bargain. Give it to me. You lied to me about the Chosen. They never guarded the tower. What does it matter? How deal was it for ancient history? I promised you the tower, and you shall have it. What's rightfully mine? With my powers restored, I am like unto a god. I can suck the marrow from your bones before you drew another breath. I could, but I too have a code by which I do business. Besides, say what you will about balance and your ridiculous law. I recognize a quest for revenge when I see one. And revenge I respect. As for the details of my resignation, 
<laughs> well, I do not approve of the company my master keeps. Why did you challenge the destroyer, Samael? See your journey to its end, horseman. You will understand soon enough. You trust him? Who knows where in the Nine Hells this portal will take us? We will meet again. Well, this is certainly a different decor. Well, not really, not really too different from the serpent holes, but it is a different. Uh, it has a certain different ambience. Yeah, and floor. Like this kind of environment book fascinates me and makes me uneasy. Yeah, it could just as easily crumble right underneath your feet. And uh, yeah, yeah, who knows and then, when or if you'd ever stop falling. Well, there seems to be lava down there, so there is somewhere to land just... I'm not sure if yeah. that's lava, I only see more cloud down there. It, it looks more like a nebula of sorts. Oh, God. So, yeah, let's just get out of here. The Black Throne. Okay, we are getting close to the end now, but I very much doubt that we'll be able to finish this game in this stream, though. Yeah, and... I feel that there are more bosses, like... Rematch, you know? <laughs> yeah, we will be facing Straga again. That I do know. And I believe this might be the final dungeon. I'm sure. Nope. Gotta keep up because this is crumbling behind us. Actually, I, I remember one different area, but I'm not sure if it's in this game or in Darksiders 2. And hello there. Asriel, heaven help me. The, the seventh seal was not broken. What have you to fear from me, angel of death? If you do not intend to kill me, then perhaps you will help me. You've given me no reason to do either. Listen to me. The gate must be shut. The tower must be cut off from the well. It is from the well that the destroyer draws his power. The well of souls? Millions of souls, yes. Enslaved, twisted. A corrupt power to fuel the destroyer's armies. You are steward of the underworld, watcher of the well. Not a single soul flows back into this world without you knowing. Unless, gatekeeper, you opened the way. The destroyer sent the mightiest of his chosen against me. I fared no better than you did, horseman, against Straga. Straga? You will take me to him. You have my word. Then tell me what I must do, Angel of Death. Okay, those are some big but ass please. <laughs> big ass wings. To draw power to this okay, and he's sealed in. Please, you must find some way to draw power to this chamber. Okay. Is this going to be a full dungeon or just a bit of a mini dungeon then to get his old ass out of that?
Okay. So... The seventh seal wasn't broken according to him. But the souls of humanity are being used as a power source by the destroyer. So that's why he invaded. Well, I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we would have invaded over a spitting Snickers bar. I would. Okay, I would not, people. Don't worry. Let's see. How do we actually move here? I don't see anything we can safely jump to. We have that, whatever that might be. It looks like... Wait, is that one of the switches? Yeah, that looks like a switch that's already been triggered. Hmm. Not sure if we can act on this area yet. So, let's go... Okay, we can't go back, so we do have... Here's some... Oh, hello. Or do we need... Yeah. The pistol isn't enough. Well, it is a big crystal, so... It's pretty clear we're going to have to, you know, bring some sort of beam over here, you know, through the middle, to the middle chamber. But we also have to move all of this in a way that we can actually get out. Hmm. And we need to find our way forwards first. <laughs> if I do that... It doesn't really affect anything on our side, except for allowing us entrance over this way. Does it change anything on that side there? Okay, you can pass through here. Now we have easy access to this. I'm going to guess that that opened up a passage on the underside. Possibly. So we open this up again. And there we go. We have number three over here. Go ahead and do that. This opens. I'm sure I want to risk jumping over there, though. Coward. It looks like it's... Okay, just about. This is a bit too much to jump, though, and that isn't an updraft that you're seeing, that's souls. Set it off? No, it has to be the cross blades. I was just starting to itch again for some reason. Shall I squat you with a shame tone? No thanks. Okay. We just find a way back to this. And that opens up the path forwards. So is, is this going to be all puzzle or is there going to be combat as well? Probably combat as well to turn on whatever power source we need to channel in, into Azrael's uh, prison. Yeah, you speak to be some guards. And as you realize, I missed the opportunity to no parody. Oh, we found well. the guards. Yep. 
Okay. Hello. Okay, some some sort of uh, ethereal reaper. I think we might have found Pet's girlfriend. Oh dear gosh, look what it is wearing. Or rather what she's yeah. not wearing. Yeah, it's yeah, a lot of scores, but not much on the mm -hmm. top area. <laughs> Okay, that reveals a switch. That moves that one over there. And if we flip this... It turns the second and fourth. So, hit this again. Does this turn anything else in the first one? It also turns the third one, okay. So, yeah, I think we need to get them all in the same direction to swing over. Yeah. So if we hadn't touched that one, it would have been like it would have lined up now. There we go. What the heck was that? <laughs> That's the good. Uh, very slow to see. <laughs> I forgot to switch. And it was just the uh, puzzle uh, completed sounds. Spider Bane! Spider Bane! Very obviously going to be a fight out there as well, since there's a rough chest. And a fight in here as well, it seems. Uh. <laughs> oh, hell angels this time. With just as much originality as their undead versions. Yes, these are the fallen angels. Yep. And the other ones who met me have been... Uh, yeah, undead. Yeah, death angel or enslaved angel of the... Uh, yeah, of the other guy. Here, flip their wings. Now, I do still like that when you're pulling off a finishing move like that, and that's a recolor. When you're hey. pulling off a finishing move, your blade can still hit other targets. Oop. Yeah, lock me up, and uh, I'm concerned how much longer this one will be. That was the wrong item use. I was trying to get. An attack with the gauntlets, but instead I used my fleet health item. Oh, for love of all. That is killing me. Well, actually, I don't know if I'm what you should call that a kitty. Doesn't always deal damage though. But at least we have this thing one on one now. Okay, just finish it off. Can we parry this thing? Well, we can't parry that, I think. If I'd gotten the timing right, it might have been there, but oh well. There we go. New drinking horn! Oh, God. Nope. 
Uh, another of uh... Oh, oh, come on. Okay, that did a, that did a lot of damage. Come on, stay in the physical world, you. Yeah, they do a lot. Okay, we're pro <laughs> we're prioritizing deaths as axes. <laughs> Here. Yeah. Oh, hello. And goodbye. No, no, come on. Is that it? That is it. Or hello, another new toy. Chat. And now we got a portal gun. <laughs> Void Walker, an ancient an arcane relic that creates portals allowing instant travel between two points. Right trigger the charts. Oh, to to create a charge portal that greatly increase war's exit velocity. <laughs> All right, an achievement into the void. Let's see then. I think we saw a few of those portal windows on top of here. Yep, there. Now, do we create the charge one as the end point? Or the exit points. I just realized we've been seeing those everywhere. Yeah. And why is it not creating me? Um hello game. Okay. I don't know why it was being picky there. I think it, I think it, when you light up one of them, it will tell you which one. So mm. when one lights up, it, the corresponding one will light up as well. Let's see, do we manage to charge the other one now? No, it's the entry one that is currently charged, but we got out all the same. Ooh. Still need to get an energy stream from here, though. Hmm. Oh wait, were, were my shots getting blocked by the environment earlier there? Because now they work. The door is still locked, so there is something we need to do here still. Well, I'm pretty sure for the right in the floor is not one of them. And yeah, the shots were just getting blocked earlier. Oh, I see. We need to go up there. And luckily, it changes the at least changes the previous portal. To to a uh, to the other one when you go hmm when you put down a different one alright and then we charge this one this becomes the blue and that becomes the red yeah and that's the effect Ooh. of a charged one and this is not where we need to be oh there is where we need to be. And yeah, 
it needs to it needs to change color before it will actually hit. See? That Oh I see it moved the portal up. Then we put one here, and yeah, as I thought. Oh, bad timing to press the wrong button. And now it has put one down over there. Okay. Uh, you know, forget oh. something. Oh. Yeah, we need to bring that thing back up again. And yeah, we are at the two hour mark. So oh, let's run is this first. Let's see if we can find some sort of safe point first. Yeah, probably a good idea. Um, Before we have to do all of this again. Bit back. And that's why those are there. Okay, little shits. And these have no reason to come close to get stabbed. And then the last one is just going to be a troublemaker. Ooh, that was close. Damn close. And it probably wouldn't have launched us off of the bridge again. Probably. And here yeah, we yeah. have something. Ooh. Take this case. Hello? Um, hello? Uh, nothing? Okay. Actually, we. Okay, we can't, we can't put a charge portal where there is already one. And this is just a hit. Hail Mary, that didn't do anything. Hmm. Okay. Or, oh. <laughs> That's where we're supposed to go. Okay, this... This looks like the... Source and the mini boss. A golem. Infection. A golem that skipped leg day. Now it's got a headache now. Oh. I wonder what the body was using as a joystick. Okay, that pissed it off. Ow. Okay, that took out a full health bar. Okay, come on over here. Then I fall through one end and... I fall right back through. <laughs> Did not expect to actually make a landing on that side. Okay. Let's try not to get smacked this time. Okay. Dark portal. Normal portal. I can't tell if that's an orb or an eye. Nor can and... I. Well, that finishes on. Oh, do tell. Yes.
Oh, well, uh, war is having a smashing good time. All right. Let's guide this beam back. And then we'll end the stream. And you should, you want the chef, I think. So that's a bit you need some healing. Yeah. With both for health? No, this is okay. a last one. And that's four. Yeah. Okay. going to do. You're, you're locked. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we need No need to go walking around, I can just jump back through and then get launched. And oh. Hmm. Now we have that beam there and now we just walk all around. Okay. I hope we don't have to backtrack too much back and forth <laughs> to get this beam to where it needs to go. Then we'll have to line up the walls. Okay, this stores it. Okay. So we don't have to keep backtracking to the <laughs> to the very beginning here. Let me know. Hmm. So I guess this is a solar powered elevator. Okay, beam there. Beam here. Jump into the next collection point. And now we can leave again. And I'm going to take a stab that there's... Oh, that there's going to be combat again. And there's... Yep. That's fourth and... Uh, and I think third and fourth <laughs> exit. at least hit one of them but yeah we we were all expecting this from the just the chests out here so are those their arms or are they with they're those i think the blades are supposed to be their hands or something that's the weapon, but still, 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 Grab them straight out of their ethereal state. And I think I just heard more stuff spawn. Yes, I did. Okay, are you at least going to be a quick kill then. These things don't really like, respond to taking damage. Yeah, they quite our healthy. There we go. That's my... My fitness tracker complaining at me with an alarm that I didn't turn off nine minutes ago. Okay, come on. Oh. <laughs> yes, me and my monk that's going to whack the absolute shit out of you. Okay, then call me on my own dog now. Oh dear. 
go. The, the bar isn't full. Ugh. There we go. Two for the prize of one. Almost. And now it's a solo dance again. And... I think they are... Yeah, I think they, they are just holding those blades. Yeah, they... They are not... They are attached like that show. Uh, okay, now I think, yeah. The things uh, here that are what may make us confused as well is that all of them is fixed on the sword. But the swords in this game. Actually, does this thing force them? No, it doesn't do anything. It's a tool that doesn't actually damage. You will need to go fast. Just another big hit like that. It would have ended us. Yep, great. <laughs> Thank you for coming down. Okay, we need that health chest. Okay, that is a safe point, but like I said, we're going on until at least this beam is redirected. And then there's two more to go, I think. Re-equip this one. Let's let's actually unequip the pistol because we haven't really used well we've used it, but it it's the least useful thing we have at the moment. Well, second <laughs> least useful item besides the earth caller. Yeah, uh, I think that there's room for one more item to find. Put a portal on the other ends. And I forgot that I had set the thing to hit this one. So yeah, lots of getting. Okay. Fire the wall! Fire the wall! Yeah, I'm not gonna cook you that lyric. <laughs> There we go. And now we should be in the last stretch, and this time not forget the switch. Okay. Yeah, we're about 15 minutes over now. But uh, yeah, we are just going to finish this part at least. Right. I think I've said it for the third time now. 24. This way. Oh dear. is coming out too high at the moment. So, portal there, portal there. That means that this one has to go up and stay up. Now, let's hope yeah, that isn't too much work from there to get both us and the beam back. That's it, I think. Yep. And now it should just be straight to whatever seal is keeping him in prison now. Hmm. We could probably use that. We probably. Wait. Oh, okay, that didn't show up for a second. Fair. It did. <laughs> what? Oh. Okay. One down, two to go. Yeah. Horseman, I never imagined that you would be my salvation. Hurry now, before Straga learns of your coming. When I found you, 
You said the seventh seal was not broken. I've heard those words before. Abaddon said the same, right before he died. Redecorating the place a bit, that's where we're called it. So yeah, we're making big progress. And yeah, I'm guessing this isn't the last dungeon then. I, I remember one area. There is no time. The well of souls must be shot. Yes, yes. I'm I think I'm remembering one other area in this game, but I can't or I'm I'm not sure if it's in this game or in the sequel. So, okay, let's save. And uh, yeah, I think <laughs> unless this dungeon is going to take really, really long, we should pro we'll probably continue the uh, one dungeon per stream streak. <laughs> there will get yeah. a head start. Look at your ability, raw abilities. Yeah, there's three. There were different ones that we could buy at the Volgrim store. One was a shield, and I don't actually remember what the other two were. Yeah, we probably should buy some. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have to see that uh, tomorrow, actually, for <laughs> once. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyone else watching now or later, thank you for watching. Thank you especially, Vakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And, well, as always, until next time, but until then, until then. Be safe, folks!